I have no choice but to cut salaries. Eight percent across the board. Saying across the board when you've already covered the totality of the statement with eight percent. That's unnecessary verbiage, Mallory. We have to cut back. But you're buying new horseshoes. Not understanding the importance of needing new horseshoes. Episode thinks that if all the wording on the magazine covers in German, I won't be able to decipher whether or not it actually has anything to do with what's being shown on the magazine cover because I'm too lazy to look up German and episode is 100% correct. So here's five sins for rubbing my laziness in my gesicht. I'm not getting frostbite protecting some old German guy. Not willing to get frostbite to protect your country or to keep your mother in the finest of horseshoes. For Short God's eyes. sake, Sterling, she's turning 17. Choosing to show this picture of a 17-year-old or any teen-year-old at a company meeting. Plus, Europeans use the metric system. Ster- the metric system. You cannot expect me to share a room with Ray. Oh, I'll be gentle. Uh, mother, you know what he's implying, right? Wow, double header. One sin for joking about the unimportance of consent and another for good old-fashioned homophobia. And you know what? Here's one more sin for those god-awful sweaters. You must protect my princess. Calling your daughter your princess, unless, of course, she actually is a princess. But even then, stop calling your daughter your princess. It's weird. You're a widower? Oh, like you didn't. No! I just got fingered. Oh, no, that is just... Oh, ha ha. Sexual assault victims not being taken seriously is so funny. It won't be a problem to kidnap that bourgeois Perita. Her father has forbidden Archer to go near her. Being concerned about having to go up against Archer, but not being concerned about having to go up against Lana. And shame on this episode for not making these asshats regret that slight. I think that smell is them. Dead bodies typically take 24 to 48 hours to start smelling. Or so I've heard. So have you just been hanging out in the basement for two days with these bodies close by? Why didn't you dispose of them sooner? Mr. Archer, how familiar. You must address me by my title, Countess von Fingerbang. Honestly, still less troubling than Princess. I am from Germany, where the age of consent is 14. Germany. What is it, the Alabama of Europe? No, that's Hungary, two countries southeast of Germany. Easy mistake to make. So, does this look as bad as it looks? I mean, honestly, Archer, for a cable TV show with your animation budget, the backgrounds constantly surprise me with how good they look. Oh, human the... Yeah, that does look as bad as it looks. You, Switzerland. Telling Switzerland to f*** off. Out of all of Europe, Switzerland might be the least f***ed offable. Well, except for maybe Liechtenstein. I mean, it's just so fun to say. <laughs> a Liechtenstein. The entire hotel's talking about your little shaving accident. How big is the hotel that every single guest staying there knows Archer and cares about his penis? Man, all this cow talk's making me thirsty for some milk. Being thirsty for milk. Ever. If you aren't dipping Oreos into milk, it needs to stay in the cow. Or the goat. Or whatever animal it came from. Don't wait up. (sighs) What are you groaning about? If Pam gets in good with this guy, she can convince him to invest in ISIS. And then you don't have to play hide the strudel. Win-win. So, so, you lost. Yeah, I came in third. Yeah, which is last. Archer would be the lead judge on Olympic medal sins. My plan requires three people. Three people who have faces! This is a super specific requirement for a plan. Would love to see how a no-face clause is drawn up in a contract. Having cameras focused on the hot tub at your hotel. That guy was running around like Johnny Storm, a.k.a. the Human Torch, uh. Lana. Explaining your references. Just making a fresh batch of green Russians. Being an adult and giving anyone a thumbs up, especially revolving around a sexual escapade. Taking the super important financial statement that your company's livelihood depends on into the hot tub. Oh no. With as many firearms as Archer has held over his years as a secret agent, I'm having a hard time believing he wouldn't be able to tell this one wasn't loaded before now. Convenient snowmobile is convenient. These snowmobiling bad guys clearly attended the Stormtrooper School for Aiming at Things. Also, why was the non-burnt twin concerned about them not having three people for his plan when they had an entire army of snowmobilers? The guard is with mediums! Be careful where you're shooting! That would have been a great instruction to relay before handing out automatic weapons to your goons. Ooh, Pink Floyd show! Getting this excited about Pink Floyd. Yeah, I said it. Throw your meat and pudding at me. You gotta twist it like this! There is absolutely no way Anka heard Sterling over the loud snowmobiles and rushing wind. I bet you never even gotten to second base. Being an adult and using the term second base, or any bases, when discussing sexual achievement. Oh, that's first degree frostbite. Forcing me to Google whether there are degrees of frostbite. The images that popped up will stay burned into my retinas for the next 72 hours. Hey, what happens in Gestad? <laughs> stays in Gestad. Character steals the Vegas catchphrase to indicate that they'll keep a secret cliche.
There's so much sadness, so much cold. No, I was dating Lana, but since I suffer from sexual addiction, gambling addiction, and sexually transmitted diseases, it's his daughter, Anka. We need to wrap that in paper. You cannot expect me to share a room with Ray. Hey, that is my favorite sweater. That is my third date sweater. Just thanks a lot, bitch, and Sundance. Those are strange names. And uh, speaking of, that bay rum really burns on the. Oh! I just got off my. Oh, that's first degree frostbite. The saws are on the way!